everybody, this is Christina, product creation consultant and digital marketing strategist for internet entrepreneurs, and I'm in my car today. I'm um, in between appointments here in Northern Virginia, and I was in a little bit of traffic, so I was listening to the I Love Marketing podcast with um, Joe and Dean, and I just that's one of my favorites. I just love that podcast. Um, the reason I'm making this video is I have um, I have a client. And one of the things that I'm trying to emphasize with him is a principle that I thought, you know, everybody could um, benefit from. And that's, and what that is, is facts tell and stories sell. So, um, you know, a lot of times what we're doing is we're trying to get somebody to be, um, intellectually committed to a future result that's positive and good for them and emotionally compelled to take action with it. So um, that's just a fancy way of saying that we want someone to contemplate change and aspire to um, something greater for themselves and whether that's in health and nutrition or starting a new business, um, getting out of debt and you know beginning investing in a business or real estate and passive income. Um, it, it can really be in any area of their life. And if we come to them with facts and figures and statistics, you have to understand that all this stuff is left brain, analytical, kind of very boring, and it's uninspiring. You really have to reach people on the emotional level, and that's why facts tell and stories sell. Now, you know, imparting advice just by telling people what's good for them and, and what's possible is like the lowest level of skill in um, selling someone on an idea, okay? The internet is vast. There is written content. There's, there's um, tons of videos on YouTube. There is um, impressive audio content in iTunes. Ignorance is not an excuse and not even possible in today's world where high-speed internet access, mobile devices, um, the, the amount of information, the volume of content that's out there is, um, you know, just amazing. And that's just, you know, it's so accessible to everybody. And um, so ignorance of these things is not the problem because if someone's seeking the information, the mentors, the books, the podcast, um, even if they don't have a lot of funds and money, like resources like that financially, they have time. And if they're investing their time intelligently and strategically and in a disciplined way, they will advance their situation. So just coming at them and telling them facts and figures like, like um, that, that's not going to be a catalyst to change. You really need to craft stories. They need to see other people um, that are just like them, that are doing it and succeeding. And um, sometimes you need to point out to them the pain that they're in or the pain that they're denying or the pain that they're going to experience if they don't do anything. It's kind of like the cost of indecision. And um, bring that to their attention in various creative ways that reach them emotionally. Okay, they have to be stirred emotionally, not just intellectually, because we don't make decisions with our um, brain. <laughs> like, you know, we make decisions based on, our, an emo on emotion, on something heartfelt, and then we use our brains to sort of justify it. And, um, and people don't contemplate change unless the pain of doing the same thing has become greater than the perceived pain of doing something new and different and outside of their familiarity and comfort zone and outside of their habits and traditions and culture and family and friends and peer preferences and pressure okay it's a lot it's a, it's a lot to surmount for some people to change their situation regarding their weight, their health and fitness, 
you know, their debt, their job, you know, starting a new business, um, learning about real estate investing. That's just some of the things that come to mind that are things that we seek out to improve, um, you know, to just our personal growth, development journey, to improve our situations in different areas. So, yes, I want you to become skilled at telling stories. And one one way you can tell stories um, is through um, documentaries that are very emotionally based. That's an excellent way. Um, that's a huge level of effort, though. So if you're trying to do something on a little bit smaller scale, I'm sure you've seen those animated um, videos the kind of, it's like a pen, they're drawing videos, and they're really um, trying to draw out a concept, and they're highly effective because most of us are visual, and they really capture and hold your attention because people are sort of on the edge of their seat, their eyes are on that pen, they're not like, you know, their, their attention is not divided, they're not distracted, they want to see what's going to be drawn out, it's kind of like, you know, anticipation. So um, the Draw Shop and Sparkle Video Scribe are two companies I know that do that have software that or and services that will produce these animated videos, and you have to script out the story, and that's where your creativity comes into play. So um, keep that in mind that we have to remind people of the pain that they're in. Sometimes we have to aggravate that pain to catalyze um, action that they need to take and to really collect a decision because we're putting something out there. We're going to eventually make them an offer to purchase something um, that they can invest in themselves. And before we do that, we have to definitely craft a story. And, um, and, and, and this also includes anticipating objections because we pretty much know what their objection, objections are going to be. So if you know those in advance, we can address them um, as we present the offer. And those stories, as long as they're compelling and as long as that person sees themselves in that story, um, it'll be pretty powerful, but it has to be a message to market match. So you have to use words that they use, things that they're familiar with, images of other people with whom they can relate and say, hmm, that's just like me. If they can do it, I can do it. You wanna instill confidence. You have to assume that they have a lot of self-doubt and reservations about about whatever it is that there is to change and um, and that's actually this is actually what sales and marketing is really about it's about helping people you know it's, it's about us discovering something that's really good and wanting to convey that to other people so that they can enjoy it too but you know just telling them and giving them like something equivalent to a brochure of facts and figures um, that's too right brain. That's too, um, like I said, that's the lowest level of skill on how to sell someone on something, whether it's a product, service, an idea. We need to be more skillful. And if you want um, a good example of this, Steve Jobs is an exceptional example of this. There's a book out there on Amazon called The Presentation Secrets of Steve Jobs, and it goes into um, detail about every single one of Apple's la product launches. And if you can remember when the iPhone was introduced and the iPad was introduced and, and Steve Jobs is on stage, and, the, and, these, and these videos are on YouTube, it was a theatric. It's pretty much a theatrical experience. The way we were, he got us so excited, and how much pride he took in his products, and how he introduced them to the market. Um, there's a lot to learn from that. So you can study the. Um, you can get that book. I'll put the link in the description box below, and then study the videos online and look for examples of. Um, of, of um, things like that and then try to use them in your business and that's um, something that you can do that would be good as far as self-study and one more resource before I go 
is a book called Influence, and it's, and it's by Robert Ciadiani. Cia, it's an Italian name. I'll put the link to that in the in description box below, too. And that's basically, um, I, I can't remember how many, six or seven reasons that people buy and conversely don't buy. And um, you want to go through this book and make sure that your offer or your video sales page incorporates each of these um, each of these things okay so um, that's it for now I think I kinda covered a lot of different things if you have any questions please um, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back with you or send me a private message okay and um, my website is under construction but it is um, it is being built right now so you can find more about me and um, find me on other social media platforms um, at creatingdigitalassets.com. This is Christina, and I will see you on the next video. Okay, bye-bye.